name is Philip. I'm a photographer based in the Midwest and on this channel we talk about landscapes, nature, and traveling and how those go together. So um, you just saw the footage from me shooting up at Airport Mesa for sunrise. Pretty cool, chill, little low effort <laughs> kind of spot which is always nice especially this early in the morning when you're super tired. Um, but I mean I don't know there's really it's a great view obviously as you've seen um, but not really much in the way for foreground I mean I think it's pretty much what you see is what you get um, but definitely a cool place to go shoot uh, mostly just went up there to grab some kind of um, establishing shots uh, for this video and some things like that I'm currently on the way to a cave that we wanted to go to yesterday I'm just kind of taking a break as I'm walking through this wash to get there uh, definitely having to do a little bushwhacking this morning but uh, we're gonna get there so I'll take you along let's go okay finally made it to the cave oh, do not underestimate this hike the getting up here I mean you're I got this crazy echo so sorry about that but um, Getting up here was, whoo, man, it's straight uphill. It's pretty easy, and then once you once you get out of the wash, it's it's pretty crazy. So you can see, it's a uh, whoo, it's it's pretty big. So I'm gonna put you guys back in my bag, and then I'm gonna attempt to climb. I'll show you my route. I'm gonna, I think this is the way that I want to go. So for me, I don't, I'm not a professional climber or anything like that, but if you're ever going to climb anything, I think it's really important to kind of see your route before you get up there and kind of get yourself into trouble. So I don't think it should be too bad. I think a lot of people get up there, so let's do it. Oh man, this is this is something else. This is pretty cool. Uh, kind of on a time crunch, so I'm gonna see if I can find a photo real quick and get back down. So let's go do that. Just finished up with the hike to that cool little cave and uh, just to kind of sum that up yeah super cool I definitely uh, would recommend being more prepared than I was for the vertical gain uh, to get in that cave other than that it's a pretty easy hike it's like I said earlier if you just stay in in the wash and just follow that the whole way it's super easy you don't have to do any any sort of crazy bushwhacking or trailblazing or anything like that which you shouldn't be doing anyway but <laughs> um so yeah finish that up you've seen the images already and, and i did kind of have a an initiative i guess you want to call it to explore some of the caves in sedona and those are all pretty cool and i've just kind of been enjoying doing that but got that out of the way today on today's agenda we are headed up to the grand canyon um, Lydia has never been there and actually neither has Grace or Otis so but it's kind of one of those things when you're when you're this close you, you kind of have to go so um, yeah let's go do that
Grand Canyon is just one of those places that you have to see to believe. Like, I think people people will tell you about the Grand Canyon, and you're like, oh yeah, well, that sounds pretty cool. But until you've actually gone and seen it, it, it never quite registered. And it, it was so funny because, honestly, probably in the whole time planning this trip that we were going to the Grand Canyon, I had been wondering inside my head what Lydia was going to say the, the first time she saw the canyon. And, and her response was very, very similar to my own when I saw it, um, I don't know, maybe getting close to about two years ago or something like that. What do you think? About the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> and it's 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 unfathomable. Like it just it just doesn't make sense. And and even for me, someone who has seen it, coming back uh, today to see it for the second time, it still just it just doesn't doesn't register. It, it it's it's mind boggling. So we kind of just uh, hung out, went to some of the different overlooks and i uh, got some pictures and came home so yeah well home <laughs> back to sedona kind of feels like home now i've never really stayed in a place um one single kind of like city location for this long it's actually kind of nice it's you know kind of get a little bit better of a feel for a place and um, kind of just getting to know like the ins and outs of a city and, and all the trails and, and kind of how the light behaves in this area is, is pretty cool. So definitely kind of enjoying that. But uh, other than that, yeah, it was a, just another great day. We just keep it rolling. So uh, one thing I will say about the Grand Canyon, uh, just a small photography tip is uh, I would highly suggest using a long lens. Now this was a tip suggested to me before my first time visiting and, and it's definitely my, my go-to now. You definitely can hone in on some of the textures and the shadows of the canyon because when you use a, a wide angle, it definitely tends to make everything so so flat and, and appear less grand. And it's actually kind of weird. You would think that with, with the Grand Canyon, you'd, you'd want to kind of show it all, but it's actually kind of odd because you don't really have a lot of opportunities there for, for foreground. There are some opportunities for scale, but um, other than I don't know, just a tip. Do what you want. I mean, it's your photography, but at least for me, I feel like I I I think that my long lens uh, photos are just a little bit more impactful. So. Uh, let's see, tomorrow I believe I will be shooting Sunrise at the Seven Sacred Pools. In your life, it will be next week. So with that being said, if you like this video, leave a like. I would appreciate it. Comment down below. I would be interested. How many national parks have you been to? Specifically, have you been to the Grand Canyon? Or what's your favorite national park that you have been to and if you're not subscribed to the channel you might want to consider doing so because there's a lot of informational photography and travel content coming up on the channel and as always thanks for watching bye